Hi there, I'm Chef Karen, and today I'm gonna to be making grilled octopus. Um, so I have my octopus here. I'm just gonna slide this into my pot. Um, so first I'm gonna tenderize it and simmer it, then I'm gonna grill it. And so this uh, tenderizing piece is quite important. I've cut up a little bit of mirepoix, so I've just got some carrots, some crushed garlic, uh, celery, and some onions. So I'm just gonna slide those into my pot. I've got a couple of bay leaves and some black peppercorns. And I'm just gonna cover the octopus in some leftover red wine. I'm going to slide this onto the stove. So I'm gonna bring it up to a boil and then down to a simmer. Place a plate on top of it, just directly to help it submerge. And then on top of my plate, I'm just gonna put these um, fermentation weights. And it's gonna take about an hour to an hour and a half. So when you slide a knife into the flesh, it should go in easily. So that's your indicator that it's done. So the octopus has been on for about 45 minutes and you can see that it's actually shrunk down quite a bit. The octopus has been simmering for about an hour and a half and I'm just gonna take my paring knife and it slides very easily into that flesh. I'm removing the octopus from the cooking liquid and I'm just going to put it onto uh, a surface to cool down a little bit so you see that the skin starts to slide off really really easily um, so I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before I start to handle it and in the meantime I'm going to fire up my grill. Alright so once the octopus is cool enough to handle I'm just going it literally just falls apart okay so the tentacles come off um, and I can just remove um, the skin and the suction cups from it. The meat is so tender at this point. And so the octopus is now fully cooked. I could serve it just like this, so I could cut it into pieces and put it into a beautiful tomato sauce. So many different things that I could do with it. Um, but my favorite way to have octopus, and especially for uh, a picnic, is as a salad, okay? So I'm going to take these tentacles. I have lit my charcoal barbecue because I love the flavor of charcoal. Um, and I am going to uh, rub these little pieces of octopus with oil. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and grill them. So just get that uh, char flavor on them. Um, and then I'm going to marinate them with my veg. So it's gonna be kind of like a little salad. So I've got my um, peppers, red onion, and good olives uh, cut up here, ready to go. So this is what we end up with from our octopus. This is now the waste, um, and I'm going to throw it onto the grill. So I'm just gonna coat the uh, octopus with a little bit of olive oil just rub that in the grill's nice and hot we don't want to cook it too long we just want to get some beautiful grill marks on it and just some of that charcoal flavor inside a couple minutes on each side and it's going to be gorgeous i brought the octopus in from the grill and i'm going to go ahead and put the salad together so put all of that into the bowl and I'm going to cut my octopus into chunks. And so part of what makes this great picnic food is that it marinates and uh, you can literally just open up the container and uh, you know dive in with a fork, uh, bring along a crusty baguette, and you've got a beautiful picnic lunch. Um, obviously, since we're dealing with seafood, we wanna throw an ice pack into a little cooler bag um, but really not a big deal. And um, this salad actually tastes even better uh, the next day. So typically I like to make it the night before, um, let it marinate in the fridge overnight. So I'm gonna take my lemon, squeeze it into the bowl, splash of red wine vinegar, splash of olive oil, Beautiful chives from my garden, pepper, and some sea salt. So I'm just going to toss this up. Octopus absorbs the flavors. Mmm, just delicious. To my plastic container that I'm going to take with me on my picnic. So I'll be sure to pack my octopus salad and a bottle of rose.